Greetings, lords and ladies. This is Sir Talkslot. I want to thank you for joining me as we play Super Mario Maker. But in this episode, we are not going to be calling him Super. Oh no, we are going to be calling him Evil. Because that is what Mario is. He's an evil, evil plumber who's trying to take over the world. You do not believe me? Well, just take a look at this level I made. Evil Mario. That's right. Mario has become evil. So guys, the premise of this level is actually very unique. So basically, Mario's in his house, and then the police have him cornered, saying, "Hey, you better, you better run out now." Hang on, I gotta pause this to explain it. So the police are trying to corner Mario because, you know, Mario did some heinous act, and the heinous act he did was kidnap this innocent mushroom right here. Just look at him. I'm gonna name him Henry. Oh, we just ate Henry, but yeah, Mario kidnapped Henry, and that's not a good thing because. You know, who would want to kidnap Henry? Henry of all people. Anyway, since Mario since Mario is a villain, and villains are most of the time, or at least in all the movies they are, they're us they usually have like a backup plan or something. So you have to hit this P-switch, which is under Mario's bed by the way, which these are beds, to in order to, you know, escape your house. And be sure not to do it too early, because if you do too early, the police are trying to blow up your house, but their bombs will go right through and blow up you if you do it too early. But if you do it too late, then the police will will get you and make you big. Anyway, you enter through the P-door, and you're going to enter into the skyscraper-like structure. This is kind of a reference to do the original Donkey Kong. So basically, um, you have to try to make your way up the tower, and there's quite a few mushrooms that'll get in your way. If you hit certain sections, um, mushrooms will pop out. Right now, for some reason, it's all fire flowers, but, you know, mushrooms as well. And fire flowers are pretty bad as well, that's why you gotta be really careful. You just wanna make sure not to hit anything, but mushrooms will spawn out of that pipe. The arrow says to point up and go up there, which you do wanna do, because there's a key in here. And you'll need that key for later. Now, you have to try to escape down the elevators. Da -na -na -na. Oh man. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. We did it, guys. I didn't I didn't think I'd make it out of that one, but we did it. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Okay, we survived. We survived. <laughs> that made me extremely nervous, guys. So, now the mushrooms are sending all they have at you. They're they're using their giant war vehicles. There's something. There's something. I don't actually know what these are called, but I don't even know what they are, actually. Um, that's some truck thingy. Um, there's paratroopers. Or mere para mushrooms. Guys, this is this is a Mario world. Do you really expect me to understand what's happening? Anyway, you enter the door, and then, as you can see, if you were big Mario, you could not fit under here. Trust me, I have tried many times. Is that music playing? <laughs> It hasn't worked out very well for me. Anyway, you enter down through this pipe, and shocker, there is a coins that spell out, uh, spoiler alert, assassin. And the reason for that is because there's this giant Bowzilla. Now, you guys, if you guys have played the level Mecha Bowzilla, you know that they combine tanks. And I, I even had to look up a video to see how to do it. I mean, I, I, um, I can find, I'm fine with the creativity, I just, I just can't, like, make him in the center and all very well and stuff. But anyway, um, I managed to make my own, I try to make it different, I don't want, I don't, I never like to copy people specifically because that makes it boring, and, I, and then I feel nasty because, you know, then I just got its own work, so I just try to do a normal thing. So, basically, this is a giant contraption sent by the mushroom people to, well, assassin or <sighs> to defeat Mario and no one wants that right um yep he's an assassin and he's a pretty dangerous one too as he has a lot of vehicles and he's and he's one of the ancient mechas and mechas are giant robots this is actually a pretty difficult level because of this because you know the all the auto scrolling and all gone can, can you catch up to me Catch on to me. You're, you're a little bit behind the screen, but can you catch up to me? I bet, I bet you can't. You're too slow. Okay, he's actually catching up, but it's somewhat great. Right? Um, there's also these Koopas. I consider anything with a cannon to be part robot, guys. I'm sorry. It's just... 
I just like it that way, okay? Anyway, there's this wiggler, kind of wiggler pool area. And they'll shoot cannonballs up. This isn't really a threat if you, like, try to bounce on it. And some of the wigglers will even kill them, like, themselves with, by squishing each other with the cannonballs. But, oh. They, it is, um, it is quite terrifying. So, another section is, this is actually the last section, where the mushrooms will try to defeat you. This is actually a pretty tricky section, because you have to make a really tricky jump right here. As you can see, you get cornered, and... Yo, there we go. I just, I just 360 no scope that, guys. And now, we're gonna be heading down into the pipe, and we are near the end of the level, and you may be wondering, what do I have to do? There's not very much here. And I'm confused, and I'm lost, and a Mario level, how do you even do that? I'm just running around in woods outside and all. Well, what you gotta do is this pipe actually spawns bomb bombs, which will enable you to break open this brick area. And basically, this part of the story is where the mushrooms are trying to prevent you from beating the level. They're, they're making one last defense force near the flagpole, so that you can't win. But we beat that defense force, and that's the entire level, guys. I actually made this today, guys, surprisingly. Like, it was not, like, 10 seconds before this video. Just, like, I made it a few hours ago. So, you know, it's not a, exactly a ginormous level simply because of that. You know, it, it really hasn't been expanded upon. Usually, that's how I, my levels work. I'll, like, I'll make a basic idea that works well have some good level design fairly, and then I'll add in extras later that makes the level shine a bit more. Usually makes it more difficulty or whatever. And yeah, that's this is the level. I really enjoy it and I hope you guys do too because I really like this level. Um it's not I don't think it's exactly as good as like the wasteland level simply because that level has a lot more in it that you have to do it's a lot more puzzle solving ish this is one of those ones that's just like you gotta dodge everything and just like if you don't do that you're not gonna live very long but yeah fun level on all a lot of deaths yes a lot of deaths unfortunately but fun level Whew. What hint to give for the next episode? Well, guys, the next ep the next level is actually going to be a reference, a direct reference, actually, to a game that I'm going to be doing on this channel soon. And I will explain why it has not come out yet, because I desperately want to do it soon. But I'll explain why it hasn't come out yet in the next episode when we do the level. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> you guys won't get it. Only some people will get it, but you guys will have to wait and see. Any guys, or sorry, anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and be sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I hope this video was very enjoyable for you guys, and see you guys.